the students want to start present uh, their project? Maybe you, you, every time you come here and do what the guest did once or when, when you want. And this time, uh, maybe we, have, we don't do the questions and we use the question for the final table, round table, okay? Eventually, if you have specific small question, we can do it. Good luck. Interesting short workshop with Lucia Pietro Iusti called Multi Species. And yes, it's Natasha, Christina, Kirill, Valentina, and me. And we can, I don't know, have a very short discussion after that. Yeah, let's watch it. Push yeah. play, please. <laughs> <laughs> we were born and raised here for the last 20 years. It's a nice house and district in general. Very humid. Neighborhood is full with Ganoderma. Polyporous versicolor and Tremella fusiformis so you are even not sure you are in the city. Also we occupy soil around, but it feels little different. Having your own house is something. Last year it became harder to live together. Simply, some relationships are destined to end, and we are one such case. And, now, we cannot understand why the human decided to destroy us. Yes, we were messy, we took over a lot of spaces in the house, we had a certain type of smell that was very dominant. But in our defense we were very apprehensive of the spaces less considered by my other half, the human being, like the attic or the basement. As we know by now, homo s are going to reorganize our homes. No more private estate. Pity instead of 10 ground floors we will have 400 new apartments with no basements. Really dense. Conditions of our lives changed a lot. Humidity, temperature, Everything is different now. Long story short, we are looking for a new home. Humid, semi-dark space is welcome. Language, any. Sincerely yours, Aspergillus Niger. So this is a vid of like a an installation of some kind that's scattered around space. It consists of this podium with uh, this species of mold of fungi we discussed in the video. And there's a podium there with uh, two booklets. One is the text of the video and another one is an explanatory text that kind of describes our intentions behind the piece which have to do somehow with uh, the non-human perspective and kind of messing around with it and using it to create new kinds of narratives through uh, narrative devices, let's say, through which we can describe um, architecture that is abandoned, ruins, and in generally uh, obsolete spaces. And the other half has to do with the two parallel um, regeneration processes that uh, Geneva specifically faces right now. One is the very drastic, like rapid changes in its um, urban landscape, with a lot of new buildings being constructed every day and replacing uh, old infrastructures. And the other one is this uh, kind of uh, rewilding that is happening in old abandoned houses where like fungi and microbes and a lot of uh, kinds of more than human, let's say, develop. And that's basically it. Yes, I think uh, we should also notice that uh, mention that we, we took um, as a case study the, the closest to, to our school neighborhood a district which is uh, being demolished right now. So, yes, and um, yeah, I think basically that's it.
And uh, I think also important thing for us was to give uh, agency to this non-human um, components in house, which which are basically um, being ignored by human. So yeah, and of course, it's a, if you read this essay, if you manage to get the paper, it's kind of ironical statement. <laughs> yes, thank you. Questions? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe even S group? Who is huh? speaking? Ah, yes, we can proceed with the second group. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the Hello. So we are the second group. And uh, this is our project we created for our class with the postnatural studies, where we were supposed to look at the relationship of humans and plants in uh, 2050. And we looked at lichens, uh, mainly because they're one of the oldest species uh, on Earth. And they have many fascinating qualities and uh, colors. And we quickly found out that they are very sensitive to air pollution and they are also disappearing from cities because we clean the facades and also the facades, the materials are not suitable for them. So, so I, will, I will read the, a text about the project. So about the painting first. So the lichen painting as a welcoming surface, surface for lichens as a reminder of a state expressing the condition of the air and the climate. The painting will propose a safe place to welcome lichens on the sanitized facade of our cities. Uh, the idea through the use of lichen is to reveal what is invisible to the human eye, in this case, the quality of the air and its changes. This will also allow the creation of natural micro reserves for lichen, which for certain species tend to disappear. The nature reclaims is right. By looking at the evolution of lichen, how it grows, which color it takes, we can learn many things that we couldn't see with our own eyes. That's why we created, we created this color chart. It's um, where there is a, a lot of species of lichen that we can uh, find uh, in uh, our uh, city or in the forest. So the color chart, the color chart allows you to identify the different species of lichen by their color and texture. Each species is listed and described, sorry, and described this allows you to understand in which environments the different lichens grow. Thus it is possible to associate them with the quality of the, of the air around them and to become aware of the potential pollution. And um, yeah, the idea of the painting was to um, to make like a, an action, like a political action or um, speculative action, to paint the the facade of the city to make people think a bit about uh, our sense of aesthetic and of uh, sterilized aesthetic, which uh, where like everything is super clean and maybe like to. Allow, allow like lichens to to grow and to see nature uh, on the facade again. <laughs> <laughs>